Here we go. Welcome back to the channel, Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. I'm smiling today because today is New Water Sunday. Just made that up. But anyway, fishing the Potomac River. I've been out here before, of course, fishing the Potomac River before, but today I'm in a whole new different section. We know this is a huge, huge river with tons of opportunity. So did my homework, completely plan this thing out. I probably won't get to all the spots because of course when you look at this stuff online and it looks like oh I can hit these 10 places and you get out here and this place is actually absolutely huge you get a big reality check right there I'm gonna try a bunch of different presentations try to figure it out I love fishing new water uh, this is exploration day you know that's what it's all about we've got cloudy conditions gonna get hot and sunny later but yeah road to 10,000 subscribers thank you guys for all your support you guys have no idea it's been an absolutely amazing ride and we want to keep this thing going so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscription button do us a favor tap that notification bell so you can get notification of all our uploads whenever we post a video yeah so with that said Got the Johnny out today. The Rona is out in the water, man. Let's get it. We got a lot of water to cover, a lot of different base, different things to try out, trying to get on some of these Potomac River basses. All right, let's get at it. All right, let's get it, guys. We are starting out with a chatterbait, fishing shallow water. I'm in about two feet. Yep, two feet of water. It is 740. Water temps are 82 degrees. I do have a wind and tide is coming in. That's the scenario today. I've never fished this side of the Potomac before, so I love fishing new water and trying out new things. Just a whole unknown gets me pretty excited. I'm gonna stick and move, move around. You know, fishing tidal water is a lot different. You gotta pay attention to the tide and boat traffic, buoy markers, everything. All right, tied on a few baits. I did tie on a Whopper plopper, this is the 110. Hopefully we can get a big one on that one. Got a white fluke. You can see I'm trying different colors, black, white. Ooh, snagged it, snagged it, snagged it, snagged it. The plopper didn't even plop yet and he snagged it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. First bass of the day. Yes, and he's a nice one. Oh, he's going down. Snagged it. Yeah, buddy. And he's a nice guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. At least a two pounder right here. Oh, all right. You're a little hooked up. I don't want, I don't want trebles in my hand, buddy. All right. All right, just stick with your guns, man. I was like, I'm trying to top order. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So I threw it right along all this crap right here. I don't even know what that stuff is, but ugh, I know I wasn't gonna throw into it. But a bunch of slosh. Here we go. Potomac River Largy right here. Nice, healthy looking fish. Look at that. This is why I love fishing new water because when you catch that fish, it's like, it's so gratifying. I love it. There it is. There it is. This is at least a pound and a half to two pounds right here. Excellent guys. Excellent, excellent top water. All right, appreciate you, appreciate you. He's got a little bit of a, oh, that might be from the hooks. All right, buddy. All right. Woo. You just gotta fish your baits, try different things. I had no confidence. I was like, let me just try. I know I've got a huge flat over here and it's just grass everywhere. So another guy was fishing over there. He completely skipped this spot and went over there, which I'm coming up on next. So I'm kind of excited to get over there. I actually have that marked, that whole area over there as someplace that might hold the juice. But excellent, man. He came for that top water bite. Wonderful. Oh, another one just missed it. Oh, we got we got some fire over there, guys. We got some fire over there. All right, I'm gonna get you back in there. Oh, you missed it completely. Are you blind? Big old plopper. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I found a little hot spot here. Let's go ahead and mark that. That would have been back to back cast. That would have been sweet. Get you in there. Whatever's in there, he's pretty, 
fire it up. A little longer than a few minutes later. I might need to change this color out. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do that right now. This water's so stained. I'm gonna darken this up, go to black and blue chatterbait, pull out the good old jackhammer, and hopefully get to jacking some fish. Swimming towards me. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Chatter bait, chatter bait. All right, let me let me scoop you. Let me scoop you up. Let me scoop you up, buddy. Let me scoop you up. Let me scoop you up. There we go. There we go. Chatter, chatter. There we go. Chatter, chatter. On the chatter bait. All right, number two right here. It's got a little bloody tail. Looks like something's wrong with your tail, buddy. This is definitely a two pounder right here. Look at this guy, Potomac River. His little tail is bleeding. Looks like he's got some kind of sore on it. <clears throat> got some lay downs right here. Let's toss the chatterbait through that. Black and blue. Got the June bug trailer with this stained water. Excellent. Bass number two. Let's get him back. All right, buddy, right back down. All right, right now my colors that are working are dark colors. First one was on the black whopper plopper and then the black and blue chatter bait. Been doing a lot of night fishing with this bait right here. And as you can see, it works in the daytime too, especially with this stained water. And I've thrown the three basic colors, black, white, and green pumpkin. Right now, black is the only thing producing. I had to do a secondary hook set because I felt like my first one wasn't that good. I wanted to make sure that fish was absolutely pinned. And on that second hook set, it wasn't moving. So I was like, yeah, good, good, good. I've got wind and everything is blowing this way where I'm fishing. And I like having some stain in the water. This allows me to fish to feel a little bit more comfortable and keeps me hidden a little bit better. Oh, stuck on the branch. Is not coming off and this is one bait i don't want to lose here we go oh my gosh just got my bait back and just broke it off literally first cast <laughs> i can't believe it. i just finished saying i don't want to lose that bait jackhammer is not a cheap bait and that hurt that hurt now i've caught quite a few fish on it so that's my only saving grace is i have caught a few fish on it a bunch of fish actually and even though this is only two and a half feet of water it is so dingy i can't see a single thing to try to get my bait back that's what i get i should have made sure my line is good my knot is good wow all right, so far off to a good start. Cannot complain. One on the Whopper Plopper. Chatterbait Fishing has been doing it for me 2021. What can I say, man? I can't put it down. Really cool bite to get. And it's staying pretty weedless. I mean, there's a lot of grass, a lot of stuff just down there. And I'm fishing shallow. The deepest water I've fished so far is like three feet all morning. I want to hit a completely new area. I've got a ton of places marked off to try out. I'm not going to get to even half of them today. It is... 10:50. so <laughs> i started fishing uh maybe like six maybe like 6 30 i think i'm not even sure and i'm still at my first location so it's time to make a move let's go <laughs>
All right, made the long run up. Didn't get any action up top. I'm back in the area where I started this morning. I'm gonna try to squeeze out one, hopefully one. Let's just try to get one more fish, but I'd love to get a couple more before it's time to head on out. It is almost two o'clock. It's been a, an eventful day. I mean, the, the, the tide's outgoing. I'm getting into the low tide part of the day. And I mean, that water was super rough. Uh, coming back in. I mean my boat was getting smashed all over the place. So I'm learning tidal Boating much less fishing is totally different than being on a lake or a reservoir like we're typically used to doing Let's try to squeeze a couple more out. Let's see what the low tide does for the fishing. I do want to get some more. Let's go Jumping. I'm in one feet of water right here. He's digging down. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Come on. Come on. I'm in one foot of water just tossed over by those lilies. Let's get him in the probe. He choked it. He choked it. I was just thinking to myself, every time the fish guys that keep talking to me, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, man. This is really shallow. They can see me coming. There's probably no fish back here. This is what happens. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely amazing. He crushed it. Targeted this little, uh, little sparse pads right here, and that did the trick. Picked up this guy right here. Look at that. Woo! River. All right, my chesty was not on, just realized it. That was a nice fish right there. What I was saying was I cast it right over there and the fish guys have been good to me because every time I am doubting my fishing and where I'm at or the spot, of course, this is new water, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm just doing my best. I did my research though, so I'm hitting spots that should be good. And I guess it's a good spot. I was getting some doubts in my head. The fish guys once again said, hey, fish got them in the boat that was about a two pounder and they're pretty consistent he smashed it targeted those pads right there and that did the trick all right that just about does it i'm exhausted fished about nine hours today too bad the bite fell off after the morning afternoon hit zero bites tide started going out totally downhill from there but i grinded it out try to get some extra stuff going I'm trying to finish off the day strong but really happy to get out here today and get on some new fishing ground land three decent bass i really enjoyed that two on the chowder bait one on the whopper plopper gotta love that top water hope you guys enjoyed this video today i truly try to make something special happen don't forget leave us a like subscribe to the channel as always guys stay safe out there we'll see you in the next video Oh, 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 oh,